Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. Um, okay, what we should do, uh, I'm going to be doing some Betel, Betel quests today. I'm going to go to Ezra and I'm going to learn how to make some of these uh, grenades because they are just like taking up a lot of room in my inventory and weight as well. Um, so, and we can actually learn how to make some of them now. I wonder if that goat hates us. Nope, they're 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 okay. Technically a grazing hedonist. Uh, why I, uh, I I wondered. Okay, so let's learn how to make all of these grenades. You abide, imbibe. No, you abide. I thought you I thought you imbibed. Hmm. Can we learn how to make this? Yes, I can. I can't believe it. Uh, you would think that Mark Three grenades would be require Tinkering Three to learn how to make. I wonder if that's something they want to have happen eventually. And I can even learn Plasma grenades. I can even learn Mark Three Plasma grenades. So that's really nice. Um, stun. We know stun. Do we know stun Mark Three? No. Now we do. Thermal, we know thermal. Time dilation, we know time dilation now. So we're good to disassemble all of this. And I will, because I don't really need most of it. I'm going to keep the EMP grenade. That's pretty much the only thing I'm going to keep. We should make goggles. I think I have goggles. Freeze grenades are also very nice, but I'm going to dispense with those. Um... I'll also dispense with the high explosive. We will eventually make some more of those. Plasma grenades are going to be really good eventually. Not now, though. Poison gas. Disassemble. Sun gas. Disassemble. We've been, I've been carrying around this weight cowboy for quite a long time. So, uh, good, to, good to finally shed some of that. Uh, we do have night vision goggles. I want to... I don't know if I can, like... Can I mod these with okay and I, I cannot now uh, my words i can mod them with nav don't really want to because we're not really we're we're not wearing those we're wearing uh, we're, we're using night sight interpreter leaders uh what i'd like to do is get some goggles and then um mod them with reflective so that, oh we can can we learn how to make these no 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 we can't um so that we can use flash grenades. Flash grenades are really just great. I love flash grenades. Um, so we could huh, wear a silver ronder. That's plus one AV. It's always difficult to get plus one AV. And in fact, that means that our extra face is no longer going to be rounded down uh, from AV. So that's quite nice. Um, can we mod this with nav it we can but it requires a microcontroller so that's kind of a bummer can we we could mod our coronet with the lantern that's really not worth it to us because we already have we, we already uh are, are basically grossly incandescent what can we mod our axe with jacked i mean jacked would be fine i wish we could mod compass bracelet with with nav what about our Buckler. We could mod it with spiked. I don't know what the benefit of that would be, really. Um, nothing on that. Nothing on that. Nothing really on this. Can I learn how to make it? Nope. Tinkering three. That sucks. Do we have any other? I guess we have some other weapons. So I could equip our diathermo beam, regardless of the fact that it's you know good or not. And this thing will basically never remove. Plus 10 resistance grants you electrical generation. Yeah. Uh, I've unfortunately kind of pigeonholed myself into never being able to take this off. Which is fine. The I think the uh, the Quasar Moat, I think it's called, is the only thing that we might consider equipping. And I'm not sure. I can't remember what that does for us. Okay. So now what I'd like to do is check out um, our Betel quests uh we're gonna do that by i can't remember Betels. five portions of congealed love that's totally do it doable 
Um, I don't really want to do that. That's like one of our most valuable resources. Six items fitted with cleats. I have the fitted with cleats mod, yes? I think. We have fitted with filters. Oh, bummer. Okay, so we don't have that. Um, three items of serene visage. Uh, I don't think I can do that. Three, six items fitted with cleats. Six, um, hmm. I don't know if that means having three items that have the visage mod on it. Let me see here. Well, first of all, we don't have visage. Apparently, I don't have visage. So I'm going to have to get that. I think I maybe didn't bother because it was tinkering three. Could be the case. Um, there is a Sphinx Salt Injector here. Worth grabbing. And I'll grab these Herberries. And I'll also grab this Flashbang Mark III. Um, I know. I think that's worth it. And I'm gonna go ahead and trade in... Well, actually I can't really... Those the Kaleidoscopic Muffs are gonna be hard to get rid of. Because they're, they're super... Super valuable. Um... Oh, we already have a... Well, we have a Mark III EMP. Okay, I'm getting a... I'm getting a... Sorry, I'm getting a little bit distracted here. Um... We could... Sell the flamethrower. That'd be worth it. Actually... Let's go ahead and sell this Flawless Crystal Aegis. That'll save us a bit of weight. We're, we're gonna gain a bit of weight from the water. But that's okay. We can always shed the water. We can't always shed the, the shield. Um, Ela is only selling cybernetics, basically. Oh, no, they have some data disks. Flexi-weaved and radio-powered. Um, yeah. And then these are all cybernetics. Okay. So, um, let's continue looking at some Beta quests. Serene Visage, I don't know about that one. Three resonance grenades. I don't know if I have that. S three spring-loaded items. I don't think I have that either, so I guess I can't really do anything. I don't have spring loaded, and I don't have visage. I don't even think visage is what they want, so I, I, I don't know what the deal is there. Um, we do have to talk to uh, our friend here. What's what is their name? Can't remember. We may as well get this out of the way. I've been like very distracted doing other things, and I. I wanted to do some Beta quests, but it looks like it's not going to happen. The only thing I could technically do would be um, the Congealed Love, and I really, really don't want to do that. Are you the Earl? Request permission. How can I appease you? Uh, oh, apparently, if I was friends to the Loved by the Consortium of Fida, this would be easy. Okay, come back in three days. Easy peasy. All right, let's go back to Grit Gate. Um, I'm gonna go back underground. I really have too much weight, and I should like kind of. Uh, I, I have a chest. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop some stuff. Also, uh, I bought this flash. Oh, I already know how to make a flash this flash grenade. So never mind. I'm just gonna go ahead and disassemble that. Um, where is uh, okay miscellaneous chest? drop. This is a really old school um, trick I'm doing here because I, I don't generally do this anymore. Mostly because I'm lazy and also because it's just like, you know, it takes a long time to get to the situation where you, you just like have way too much weight. Um, we'll keep the security cards. They're, they're, they're useful. We'll dump the floating glows here. So I'm just basically throwing in all of our extra weight in here. Oh, we have some stuff I need to disassemble. Uh, including this phylactery, which is quite heavy. We could, I could actually dump all of our trade goods in there. Um, I keep meaning to drink that sun's leg and I keep not doing it. Okay, so we have enough water uh, transfer. 
So now we have like a lot more room in our inventory and I didn't really get rid of anything I need. Uh, I also didn't get rid of all of our trade goods just in case. Water container, vial of sunslag, uh, drink it. Quickness is permanently increased by one. It's really good trade good, but uh, don't, you know, we're, we're good. We don't, we don't need trade goods. In fact, I could do with a little less trade goods. I really could do with, um, whatchamacallit, some Neutron Flux. There's a couple achievements, as I keep saying, that require Neutron Flux. So I want to go back to this ruin and make my way down. Because, uh, you know, we were getting to some, like, really spicy levels. Floor, stratum 25. I don't know, like, how deep, how, what is the deepest I've ever been in Cud? I think maybe one time I stepped into a space-time portal. Um, and, uh, ended up, like, 30 strata deep. That might have been the, um, the deepest I've ever been in, in Cud. But, you know. There's always room for milestones. I should make a list of some of my milestones so that I know when I've broken them. Just for fun. Just an extra fun little series thing, you know? Oh, you, huh? Oof, I forgot we were... What, am I using a dithermo beam now? Problem with using the dithermo beam is it has the um, potential to torch the goods. I guess so does our railgun, so, you know, maybe, who cares, but, I make some, uh, hot steam. Oh, are we not friends? It's a trash abbot. Trash abbots are, can be pretty tough. But they also have some pretty good stuff. Are we enemies? No, we're not. Why are... Why was that other one not okay with me? They have such amazing stuff, including apparently thermocasks, that I can't resist not fighting um, them. Like, look at this stuff. Crystal Halberd. It's worth picking up basically anything Crystal. Oh, look at that. That's a... Uh, uh, I uh, forget what they're called. Basically made it impossible to leave. Oh, we got an ogre. Genuine ogre. I don't think I want to pick up ogre stuff. And that's a good thing because um, they were incinerated. 6 drams of blood pours all over you. Yeah, cuz we uh, have set dyna uh, blood cells to be I know that blood cells are actually worth using because you can set them to auto collect. Um, that kind of puts them to me. Oh, was that a dynamic one? Oh, that was a dynamic tur turret tinker. Shoot. My bad. Sorry. Um, yeah, you can set blood cells to, uh, auto collect. And then they're basically as good as like really powerful solar cells. Oh, no, 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 no. Hate, hate this. Um, but like, I just, I can't be bothered. <laughs> Like, I don't, I don't think that they're actually that great. What is happening here? What is happening here is I'm, I'm taking a lot of heat. Both, uh, metaphorically and also literally. Because, um, there's a bunch of hot beams being shot everywhere. Oof. I hate trending lampreys. I hate lampreys in general. Okay, well. Oh, they're fast too. I don't really want that to be the end. Um, what I should do is, uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and rest. And then we're gonna make some, um, could make some flea, freeze grenades. Fleas grenades. Um, could make some 
What would be good against training lamp rays? Thermal grenades. Oh, I, I see. I can make a visage. My bad. Um, hmm. I could make a time dilation grenade. I don't know. What is, like... What is the good grenade against turning lampers? There's not really a really good one. I could make just some flash grenades and run past them. What I'd like to do, what I originally thought to do, was um, I want to just, like, use our burrowing claws recipe and uh, dig... In, you know downwards honestly should could be a better way to do ruin diving than what I have been doing so let's go ahead and cook and choose a recipe uh, but, 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 but. I wonder if I didn't get a recipe poison breath due to missing ingredients bone meal I, don't, I guess I didn't make it. I didn't. I wasn't inspired to make it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make one, congealed skulk, and um, congealed Hulk honey. That's not what I wanted at all. That's not what I wanted. Why? How come? Sometimes you get like choice of three, and then sometimes you just don't. So uh, I have a, this is a pretty nice recipe, but I'm going to have to ruin it because I, I really just need the burrowing claws. Did I run out of skulk? Okay, preserve. We'll do a couple of, let's do both of our skulks. And then I um, guess I'm going to preserve our tongue. Um, I could do love injectors. You get a couple of uh, congealed love for that. And then we could possibly befriend the trolls. The thing I'm worried about that is that if we fail to beguile the trolls, then we're just kind of stuck in a situation where we have to fight them. And, you know, that sucks. Um, I feel like using the love tonics themselves is just a kind of a guaranteed win. I'm pretty sure using Beguiling is willpower based. Um, so I, I couldn't help but notice we're still in a, we're still, we still don't have Burrowing Claws. Okay, let's go ahead and use some Congealed Skulk and hope that we get the Burrowing Claws. There it is. Okay, and now we do Control Period. And um, let's go ahead and break our way in here. Okay, and the fun continues, and we can, like, I want to make the most use of, well, our, our staircase is right there, so we don't really have to do that. Let's just go down, uh, and then I'm going to come here, and then whenever I can, I'm just going to go, like, make a staircase. Because uh, that's going to, like, speedrun strats us downwards. And that way we always have a basically a shortcut. We're at 30 strata deep, so things can get really spicy down here. I don't even know what you can possibly find. What, what is that? Eigen turret tinker. Yeah, Eigen turrets can, can do some damage for sure. The thing I'm most worried about is honestly um, cannons, which we are finding. We are finding some uh, some cannon tinkers and chrome pyramid. Th there's really only the two things. What is this? Reef hermit. They have some interesting stuff. They have a weird artifact and a glow sphere kind of want to kill them for their weird artifact. You know, it occurs to me, in our 
uh, historic site, which like never fails to basically destroy us, we could just use burrowing claws and like fast track downwards to get the goodies. Kind of sucks, but like, ooh, is this a cherub? Glitter mensch. Glitter mensch sound tough. They sound like they could take us out pretty effectively. But you know, uh, we do have the perma stun. Wow, their AV is really nice. That's okay. Our our AV is also really nice, and we we just perma stun them. Cool. Uh, we're things are being uncharacteristically calm right now. I'm not even finding staircases down anymore. Sense of vast animus. Yes! At the moment of victory, your swelling ego curves the psychic ether and causes the psyche, the psyche of Kushroga, Kushroga Cat no longer toes Osprey of the Cross to collide with your own as the weaker of the two. Its binding energy is exceeded and it explodes. Would you like to encode its psionic bits on the holographic boundary of your own psyche? Yes. And that is an achievement. So we have achieved. Oof, let's try not to die. These guys can be really tough and my um, willpower is not great. So I'm gonna go ahead and temporal fugue. Luckily, there's no like, um, whatchamacallit, normalcy on this floor. There can be this this deep. Pretty sure plastifer stuff is really valuable, but I'm just gonna go ahead and take that crystal. Sonic crystal good. So we are getting pretty deep. That tabby, by the way, astral tabby is um, pretty nasty. Uh, only if we are phased. If we are phased for even a moment, then the astral tabby will basically. Uh, they're, they're, they're as vicious as like a late game man prey. They can, they can be really nasty. Uh, but right now, they are. Well, actually, they are proving to be kind of a problem because they are making it so that I can't dig. So what I'm going to do is come come up here. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to dig down. And hopefully I'm far enough away that they no longer... Well, there's a whole other chunk of level over here. I feel like um, Burrowing Claws got a buff. Because it seems a lot easier to uh, dig through walls than it did. Unless this is really easy. A coral rag. Maybe this is just like a really easy wall to dig through. Quartz. Baboons are proving to be very little trouble which is nice it's always nice when you fight a previously difficult enemy and they are are not really a problem anymore it's what i honestly what i love about rpgs in the first place so we lost a couple of our cells this guy the, the thing that's worrisome about those slimos is that they can potentially melt you through the floor and uh then you have to you're kind of stuck in a new zone that could be very dangerous um, will sap. I think those things permanently destroy your willpower. Not sure. But anyway, we are pretty much good to continue down. Uh, have I lost my... Yeah, we're hungry. Ah, oh, I lost my burrowing claws. Okay, well, that's kind of where that ends. There's plenty of floors that I could uh, explore that I kind of shortcut through, including this one. And this is why I set, um, set it so that I, I, I ignore things at easy. Oh, is that a cycle flesh gun turrets? Psychic throb fails to penetrate your armor. What is... What is that? What is that? Cycle flesh gun. <laughs> I knew, um... That 
I had a psychic cycle flesh gun at one point. I'm not sure what it was, what it's supposed to do, but it seemed to tear into me pretty good. Kind of fun that I uh, hit that cob, that web over there, and then it emitted a bit of light. I love those little bit of bits of immersion. I think that's a plasma gun. Yeah, we are... That's a spacer. So that's what I thought I had when I had the space inverter. You can maybe understand why I thought that. Not really sure what's going on right now. Take some, took some damage from some plasma. As you do. So I guess... Okay, we don't want to go down because I actually came from down. We want to go up. Yeah, check this out. Is that another dynamic turret tinker? It is. Okay, we don't want to kill that one. We want to get some nice, fun bits from that fellow. I do want to kill any rocket turret tinker, though. Is a little, little bit of a concern. Yeah, there's another tinker, and I'm a little concerned that they are a rocket tinker. What are they? Yeah, they are a rocket tinker. I think I hit the Beetle. Did I kill the the dynamic turret tinker? Place four Ezra recoilers before me. <laughs> uh, this Beetle is a huge fan of Ezra. Okay, we want to kill that life sap. But otherwise, we're we're in a pretty good position right now. Just gonna follow this turret tinker until they make some more stuff. There, we're getting like nuclear cells and stuff. Like, this is really good. Uh, I think it was Gavin that told me the dynamic turret tinkers are really good for getting extra bits. And uh, you were not wrong. Okay, we're just gonna wait. They, they, they can't really do anything. I, I think that they've run out of stuff. Because they were basically no longer... They, they were trying to attack me and they don't actually have any attacks. So what is this? Um, okay. Can't disassemble with hostiles nearby. Well, we're... we're oh, there's a spider? Really? Okay. There we go. Uh, sure. So we just got a bunch of antimatter cells. This advanced toolkit is drained. Let's replace the cell with something with a bit more oomph. I'm thinking probably a nuclear cell. I think my energy problems are kind of taken care of. Also, we have tons of chem cells. I thought I was treating these as scrap, but I think that, like I said, what happens is that if there are hostiles nearby, your dude will just like pick them up, but not actually disassemble them. Can kind of create a problem for you, but that's fine. Treat these as scrap as well. Go ahead and disassemble those. Okay. We're good to keep exploring. So this, um, this beetle is actually one I could solve. Oof. Okay, we're gonna temporal fugue and just let our friends take care of that. Um, all we have to do is go to Ezra and then buy uh, like a recoiler every once in a while. Like every time we leave or do something or you know go somewhere else, we could just buy an Ezra recoiler and then eventually the problem takes care of itself. Um, totally doable. But it would take a bit of time. Oh, there's another Beetle quest. Place four pairs of Yeshrikin slippers before me. What are, what are even those? What are those? When you're given a quest to collect something you don't even know. That was another rocket turret tinker. 
Good to get rid of those as soon as possible. That was a weird one. That catapult like made a wall in the center and then every other chunk got kind of like hold. Oh, there was a, another rocket down there. That was a little bit dangerous. And I think this is the floor that has the trinning. Oh, that's a memory eater. Oh, really? Oh no, they ate some of my memory. I think they just removed my memory of the floor. Could be that that's the case as well. That they just like remove your memory of the floor and then that's it. So yeah, there's the trinning. I just saw it there for a moment. I don't want to aggro it. So I'm going to leave. And uh, we could just basically, let's go to Ezra and uh, buy ourselves a, oh really? Did I drain it? Yeah, I did drain it. Uh, you know what? Can we mod all of our recoilers to have jacked? Yes, we can. Perfect, let's do that. Um, not that one. That one's fine. Well, let's do Grit Gate, uh, Kya Kya Kya, Eid Freehold is a microcontroller. Why do you got to be so extra? Eid Freehold. Um, Ezra is a nano material, which is expensive, but fine. And uh, that's going to do it. Hey, you know what? Let's use this slimy palladium room one. Actually, let's not do that. Doesn't have enough charge. I just modded it with... What? Did I not... Oh, I, I think I... Yeah, okay, I did... What do you mean? Jacked Ezra Recoiler. Does the cell have to be jacked? I don't understand. I do not understand. Let's uh, let me let me see here for a second. I'm gonna make a chem cell real quick, and then we're gonna I'm gonna look. Can I mod a chem cell to be jacked? Okay, so I can mod cells to be high capacity. I can't mod them to be jacked. So I don't know. Maybe I just need to charge the chem cell. The the the. I have to charge it once and then it'll stay charged. I'm not sure. It's it's being kind of weird if I'm being replace cell with a chem cell. Maybe it needs to be a chem cell cuz then it will actually use it. I don't know. I like I'm just like grasping it. No, it, it, it's not doing it. Okay, jacked Ezra. Let's go ahead and recharge chem cell. Yeah. And then maybe it needs to have a charge in order to use jacked I, I don't know let me see so I've, I've just used it let me see if um, it used any charge it says fresh and I didn't use any of my discharge so I, I really don't know maybe uh, maybe jacked recoilers aren't like functioning properly right now is the best I can really do to explain that one uh, I'm gonna buy some water skins. I really need to, you know what I need to do? I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to Hila. I'm gonna buy a recoiler. We're gonna get this going. Cause I do, I do actually want to uh, hand in at least one of these battle quests. So we'll, we'll get that going. I need like three more. Then we're gonna go to Grit Gate. Actually, what I'll do is I'll wait 400 turns to make sure that the grit gate solar cell is charged. What do you mean powers down? It totally did. It was full. I feel like this jacked business is not worth it. It seems to be not working very well. Okay. Jacked. Okay, so it's fresh right now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wait some a little longer, even though I'm hungry. Okay, 
Brick Gate 4. Okay, so I, I don't know what the deal is right now, but it's really annoying. Like, I, the whole reason I um, wanted to apply the Jacked mod to some of these is because I don't like having to do uh, chem cell or, you know, cell management. And now I'm being made to do even more. So it's a little bit frustrating, I, I won't lie. Um, I just kind of want to not have to do energy management. Hence why I, I wanted to, um, you know, jump on Jacked as a uh, as a method. Am I wrong about Jacked? When equipped by a robot cyborg immune with the ability to generate me. You can draw power. Integrated power systems when equipped. You can power this device via electrical. Well, I thought so, but it doesn't seem to be working very well. Um, okay. Recharge chem cell. Now, uh, please work. Thank you. It still doesn't seem to have used any discharge. Nope. So I don't think that's working properly. Like at all. Um, I'm going to go through the bears one by one because I need to buy some stuff from them. Um, let's trade. Nothing. Isepa. They are unfortunately all asleep, so this is going to be even more time consuming. Data disk, don't need it. The reason I'm doing this, I mean, one thing, I came here for uh, the jewels that Q Girl tends to uh, sell. So I, I, I want that, but I also want some data disks. Flexi weaved, combustion, these are not worthwhile at all. Okay, Mafio. Mafio tends to not have very good stuff. At least not for my level. Uh, arc winder. Nah. Nope. Not really. Okay. Neek. What do you got for me, Neek? Anything cool? Got some weird artifacts. Uh, I don't really... Well, okay, you've got a trade good, but it's not technically a trade good. Because it... It's, I'm not going to get as much money from that as, as, you know, it's not actually a trade good. It's just a, a thing to buy. Visored. What does this do? Plus one DV, right? That's probably the third or fourth or fifth time I've looked at Visored thinking it might be something useful, and then it's actually not. Okay, wake. Um, trade. Scoped. Normality gas pump. Eh. These are not useful things for me. And they also, um, to add insult to injury, did not have any jewels. Okay, here we go. Phase conjugate. Two-faced. Handy nuke. I've heard the handy nuke is very good. Whoa! Time cube. Problem is, is that this is a Tinker 3 for sure. Yep. But look how, look how expensive that is. Two AI microcontrollers and two meta crystals. Man. Um, this is Tinker 3. I, I assume the handy nuke is Tinker 3. It is. Chain pistol, two phase, phase conjugate. Is this Tinker 3? No. Could do phase conjugate. And we'll buy these bits. May as well. It's a good way to get rid of, like, some of our stuff like buying bits is an easy thing for me to do i think i actually am going to hit up the six day stilt i know i i promised ruin diving and i did do a little bit of ruin diving but it's probably not as much as people would like um um what do i give up the thing is i never really want to give up um actual trade goods if I give any of my actual like really valuable stuff then I have too much water and I can't really get rid of it um could sell my solar cell sure I have some stuff I need to identify steel boots 
Let's get rid of some of our arrows just to just to make up a bit of difference here. You don't have 125 drams. <laughs> oh no. All right, get rid of that and um, I, I guess a bionic liver. I'm gonna be overweight. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I'm gonna be disassembling a lot of this stuff. I say that, but uh, it's not going to disassemble nearly as much as I would like. Okay, disassemble all, oh my god. I wish there was a button somewhere that was just like, disassemble all of your scrap right now. Just, just do it and don't pause. Cause like I'm in a very safe place and I, I can't stand having to go through all of this scrap and doing this disassemble. Okay. All right. We're good. All right. I am going to go to the six day still. It seems like a long time since I've actually like explored the overworld a lot at all. I do. Um, the next qu part of the quest could be started at any time. We are, uh, apparently I'm running late. I didn't realize how long this episode was going. I am going to take a quick look at the stilt and then I guess I'll call it there. I should uh, get my wayfaring for the flower fields because it's kind of an issue. Okay, uh, let's look at scam cell. Like, you know, like I say, we're, we're kind of between achievements right now. There's not a lot I can do. A lot of it is pretty grindy. And um, some of it is RNG. Look at that. Second handy nuke in like a minute. Also, Eater's Nectar Injector. That's laugh. That's laugh right there. Tinker 2. Um, it's not impossible to find the fruit that makes Eater Nectar Injector. At least not now. They are pretty... They're, they're more um, possible to find in the... A deep jungle I'm pretty sure and also deep ruins which eventually we are going to do um, so I think I want to get these mirror shades that's pretty much what I wanted in the first place bioscanning bracelet uh, I don't think so anti-gravity boots tinker three no no point portable wall okay well, we're good here you don't have all right all right let's uh, trade some of our crystal nonsense um, and a bionic liver. Perfect. Okay, well, so in a rare twist of fate, the schematic salesman was actually helpful. With this Eater's Nectar Injector uh, recipe. Don't get too excited about that, by the way. First of all, Eater's Nectar Injectors are not as good for mutants. They're fine, but they're they're not as good as for Trukin. They're not as game-breakingly amazing. Um... A high electro bow, high energy thermo cask, reprogrammable recoiler. Oh, is that? Please tell me that's Tinker 2. Yes! That's amazing. That is a hundred. Oh, and a resonance grenade. I'm pretty sure that's a Betel quest. Um, like, that's, that's probably a Betel quest right there. Done. So, I'm really stoked about that. Let me see if I... Do I have anything I can give up? Yeah, let's get rid of these rough topaz. There we go. Perfect. Is there anything else here that I should buy? Not really. Okay. Um, let's learn some of these data disks. Oh right, I have to I have to do something with that fitted with filters. Mirror shades, reprogrammable recoiler. We're gonna make that right now. We might make a couple of those. It would be nice if I guess I w I can add notes to items. Um, making notes would be a really good way of just like figuring out uh, what of our, all of our recoilers do because I am gonna be making more than one uh, of those. Um. So let's just have a look real quick. What do? Oh yeah, I want mirror shades. That's gonna. Oh, well, right, I made them, but uh, I might want to mod them. Can we mod them with um, reinforced? Because that would be really nice. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, crystal. I don't think so. I also. <laughs> 
getting kind of distracted. There's a lot of stuff I have here. Well, we just got a gas tumbler, so that is super worth uh, disassembling. Also, this tur a turbo is uh, really valuable to disassemble. The we got those from the um, trash abbots for sure. Anti gravity boots, and we got a freaking AI microcontroller from that. And yeah, I am gonna disassemble that. We'll disassemble this biodynamic cell. Um, okay, so let me look real quick at armor mirror shades. Can I mod this? I can with nav. Uh, we actually get AV from our current Rondor, so I don't think that it would be worth trading down to the mirror shades. We can consider something else later. Um, okay, well... Let's go back to what we can make. Definitely going to make um, a couple of these. Reprogrammable recoiler. I'm gonna make two of them for now. We really only need one and then once we've programmed it, then I'll make another one. Um, so that's fine. 10 units of compute power to the local lattice. I don't know. I, I never know what that really means. I didn't mean to do that. No, I didn't mean to make a risk calculator. In fact, I'm going to disassemble that right now. Honestly, I, I didn't even realize I had one. I kept this slender lacquered wristband. Uh, honestly, just because it's, you know, it's got a lot of mods on it. There's not really a good reason to keep it. I am going to get rid of this gas tumbler. I forget. What is this? Gases you release are... Yeah, this is only good if we have a gas-releasing mutation. Let's keep the comment civil now. <laughs> um, let me see. Okay, I, I think I'm pretty much good. Was there anything else here? Right, I wanted to make sure... Does one of my Betel quests require... Resonance. I think it resonance grenade. Yeah, three resonance grenades mark two. I'm pretty sure that's the one I can make Yes Okay, so we're gonna have to figure out where that betel quest is. We'll do that in the next episode um, If you're enjoying this series and if you enjoyed this episode Maybe you want to hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and I'll see you guys next time Take it easy. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy some jewels, but I'll do that between episodes. It's not really uh something worth keeping. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.